Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the checkbox icon with a mouse click tap element trigger. What we're doing is using a native Webflow form and we are creating these really nice custom feeling checkboxes. I really like this one because it's not really something that is very easy with IX2. With Lottie Flow and the Lottie integration, we can do these custom checkboxes fairly easily. Let's first jump into the HTML, see how this works. The structure in HTML is very important here. I'm gonna move myself over. Let's open up the navigator and let's get to our form. Okay, as you can see, Webflow native form. We have our form settings. Webflow native checkboxes, we have our checkbox settings. And this is the default checkbox parent wrapper. This is the default checkbox, real checkbox. And you'll see that this is set to display none. We're not showing the real checkbox, but behind the scenes, we're actually checking it. We have our Lottie checkbox icon. This is something that we are adding to the checkbox parent. And then we have our checkbox label, which is a very important piece of this. This is going to be our click target and it's going to actually check the real checkbox. If we do not place this label correctly and we are using something else as the click target, it's possible that our real checkbox is not gonna be clicked, but our Lottie checkbox makes it look like it's clicked. Of course, we need to send the correct information, so we're gonna make sure that this works before we get into interactions. Checkbox label, position absolute. This is stretching the entire size of the parent, and it is the top clickable element. And Webflow will recognize that label click as a click to the real checkbox. And just to make sure about this, we are going to test it before we actually do anything with Lottie. All right, let's go to our checkbox reel and we're going to show the checkbox reel. Let's close this, we're done over here. And before I go to the published site, I'm gonna show you how designer doesn't, or preview doesn't really handle the checkbox exactly how it should. So look at this, you can see as I'm clicking this, the Lottie's going, the checkbox is kind of pulsating, but it's not checking. And that just seems to be a problem with preview inside designer. What we're going to do is publish the site and we are going to check that the checkbox is working on the live site. Please, when you're using checkboxes, when you're using radios, you have to do this check to make sure that the real checkbox is actually being checked. So here we're clicking on our label, which is taking up the full size of the parent, and you can see with full reliability, we are checking on and off of the real checkbox, we're sending the correct data in, and we are showing our Lottie animation, which has the nice checkbox. Cool, and as we click around, perfect. Could not be better. This is exactly what we want. Now we're confirmed working. All right, let's go and display none this checkbox and see how we get the Lottie icon animation going. As we said before, the checkbox label is going to be our element trigger. So we go into interactions, and we're going to set a mouse click, tap, element trigger. And when we go in here, before we get into the timed animations, we're going to make sure that we're setting this on the class level. Setting it on the element level and having multiple checkboxes is going to potentially make your job a little bit more difficult. You're gonna to have to add a, a interaction for each checkbox label. You may end up with some doubles inside of the interactions panel. We don't want that. So we're setting it to the class. Every one of these has it applied to it automatically since it's on the class level. And now let's get into the timed interactions. We have on first click and on second click. It's a great part about a checkbox, a little bit more easy to implement than a radio. So on first click, we're going to go to our checkbox first click 
timed animation, we're going to start this animation at 0%. It is the initial state, and our initial state is just this circle without the check. And then on the click, we're going to run our interaction, and I cannot scroll down here, which seems to be a problem with the zoom. So I'm going to unzoom, make it a little bit smaller for you. But we see that we're at Lottie 25%. And at 25%, that is exactly what we want for a full check. Nice. Cool. Duration 0.4, we have linear. We're using our easing that was created by our animator. And great, we need to make sure also, very important, that this is applied to only siblings with this class. Why? Because it is a sibling of the label. If we were to set this to only children or only parents or even all elements, we're not going to have the result we want. Only children, only parents, it's not going to work because the label is not a parent or a child of the Lottie. And all elements is going to just check every single box, which of course we don't want. So we need only siblings. And what that means is it's a sibling. These three are siblings of each other. Real, icon, and label siblings. This checkbox radio wrapper is a parent of these siblings. These are children of this parent. So we must select siblings with this class. All right, I'm back over here. And we accidentally just disconnected this. We're going to go and select both, change the target, back to the icon, and great. So now we should be running again. Cool. Okay, and now let's go to checkbox second click. This is going to be the click that checks off, unchecks the uh, the checkbox and let's go into here and this is just a one step where we go back to 0% and great. So we're not going to be able to see this but as we check on we go 0 to 32 and then we check off from 32 back to 0. Great and that is how we implement the checkbox with a mouse click trigger. That's effing sweet.